Hello YouTube, Tyler here for the channel today. Today we are working on my 2019 Chevrolet Silverado that you may have seen in some of the other videos on the channel. And today I'm gonna go over how I clean my dirty engine bay. Um, the engine bay on this truck hasn't been cleaned in probably about six months. Um, coming towards the end of the summer season and I like to kind of freshen everything up before we go into the winter. Uh, kind of create a protective barrier on the engine before I start driving through some of that salt brine and the nasty weather. Uh, so the first step that I'm going to do is take a cleaning product. This is by Chemical Guys. This is their degreaser. And the first thing I'm going to do is just spray down the entire engine bay. This is going to help loosen up some of that dirt. And then I'll show you the next step. So as you can see here, I've sprayed down the entire engine bay with that degreaser. Uh, you can actually see the product going to work. Um, this is some pretty good stuff. You can see it literally lifting the dirt away. Um, I'm gonna let the product sit for about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna dip a microfiber rag into a bucket of soapy water. And then I'm just gonna give everything a light brush down, all the things that I can reach. Uh, try to agitate some of that dirt out. Um, some of the harder, reacher, the harder to reach places down there by the headers and everything, I'm going to use a pressure washer to wash some of that away. Um, but one thing I forgot to mention is you wanna do this when the engine is cool. You don't want to do this while the engine is hot. If the vehicle has been running, you want to let the motor cool down for at least 45 minutes. So I've gone ahead and taken my microfiber rag here um, and just basically soaked up every part of the engine bay that I can reach. Um, you can see how agitating it has kind of lifted all that dirt out of the way. Um, and the next step would be to power wash some of the um, rest of the dirt. And again, like I mentioned, you want to make sure that the engine is nice and cool during this uh, part of the process. And you also don't want to directly power wash something like right on top of it. You want to stand back and kind of let a light mist kind of wash away uh, everything in the engine bay. You don't want to blast some of these harnesses that are delicate. Um, so again, you're just going to let the product do the work and you're just using the water to kind of wash away the product. Now that I've let the engine sit for about 30 minutes, um, I'm going to come back through with a rag and just dry up all the uh, real heavy water that's still remaining in the engine bay. Um, and wiping down will also help pick up some of that dirt that the uh, water did not push, wasn't able to push off of the surfaces. And then next I'm going to go through with an air gun and blow out all the remaining water that I can't get to. Um, this is a step that is technically unnecessary, but will give you a finer finish on the motor as everything under the hood is designed to get wet um, and the water will eventually drain off. But if you wanna get it to look showroom ready, uh, this is an important step. So as I discussed for my last step, I took the air gun and blew out the rest of the uh, engine bay here. And you can see I got most of the moisture. Um, then I just used some um, engine dressing, which is just a dressing that's designed to clean up the engine, give all of the components a little bit of a shine, uh, but it's safe for the engine bay. Um, this is basically how I do my engine every couple of months. Um, I don't believe that you should be doing your engine every single time you wash your car. Sometimes it just doesn't get as dirty under here, um, and I feel it's a, kind of a waste of time. But if you have a show car, this is something that you may want to do every time. Um, again, this is just how I do things. If you guys have any questions on my methods or what I use, go ahead and drop a question down below, and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much. Have a great day.